Hi Christian Entrepreneur, Mario Ferros is here of Christian Entrepreneurs Academy and then be to ako to share with you one idea that would be helpful for you uh, sa journey nyo bilang Christian Entrepreneur. So, ang topic ko ngayon na share sa inyo is about speak about ideas rather than speaking about things or other people. Alam natin na sa panahon natin ngayon, mas, mar- mas maraming tao yung mas gusto nilang mag- mag- mag-spend ng time to speak about other things, to speak about other people. And wala namang mali doon. It's okay. Pero pag palagi mo siyang ginagawa and you don't have any time to nourish the idea that God gave you to, to nourish yung yung information business that God wanted you to start. So you have to stop and you have to think. Tama ba talaga itong ginagawa ko na nauubos yung time ko uh, speaking about other people or things pero hindi ako nag-move forward sa buhay ko as a Christian and Filipino. So you have to think. We have to be intelligent in our life. And then, then, um, may naalala kong um, isang saying, sabi dito sa saying na to is that Great men speak about ideas. Average men speak about things. And little men speak about other people. The question is, ano ba yung lately topic nyo ng mga church mate mo? Ano ba lately yung topic nyo ng mga friends mo, ng mga office mate mo? na nauubos yung time mo because of that topic. Nagiging profitable ka ba talaga doon? Ikaw lang yung makakasabot, makakasabot niyan. Pero I'm telling you, if not, you have to stop. You have to change the topic that you are saying or that you're speaking about. I remember one man, ang pangalan niya ay si Thomas Edison. For sure, kilala mo siya. Si Thomas Edison is that maraming beses na siyang nag-fail sa buhay niya. Actually, it's 10,000 time, times of trial and error para kay Thomas Edison. Pero si Thomas Edison is that hindi siya nawala ng loob dun sa idea na pinaniniwalaan niya. And ganun ka din, bilang Christian and Filipinoor, kailangan meron kang ganitong klaseng perseverance, ganitong klaseng mindset ni Thomas Edison that you have to move forward always in your life. That you have to nourish. You have to give time dun sa idea na binigay sa'yo ni God para mag-move forward ka. Para mas maraming tao yung matulungan. Si Thomas Edison, up to now, lahat tayo nagbe-benefit sa invention niya. And ganun ka din, Maybe, wala ka pa ngayong naiisip, ano ba yung service, ano ba yung God-given talent ko na gusto sa akin ipalabas ni God, na gusto sa akin um, i-work out ko to glorify His name. Maybe hindi mo pa alam sa ngayon, but, but as you speak, as you go research, as you go um, speaking about it with your friends, for sure, God will reveal to you this idea. And you have to think, hindi isang idea pa lang is mag-work na agad siya sa inyo. Hindi. Si Thomas Edison, for sure, marami siyang idea. And yung isang idea na yun nag-work sa kanya. And ganun ka din. You have to uh, think of this idea. You have to nourish it. Give time to it. Lessen your chismis time and speak about ideas. Meron yung Bible verse ako yung share sa inyo. And I think makakatulong siya sa inyo to move forward sa, sa buhay nyo. Nasa Matthew 15.11 Sabi dito, What goes into a man's mouth does not make him unclean, but what comes out of his mouth that is what makes him unclean. Friend, you have to be very careful of what will come out of your mouth. If hindi siya magiging um, makakatulong sa ibang tao or sa'yo, you have to think, you have to stop. And you have to nourish the idea that God has gave you, that God has put in your hands, and nourish it 
and be a blessing to the world. My friend, maraming maraming salamat. I'm really looking forward to speak with you again um, about my uh, my journey and about sa mga journey pa na uh, tatahaki natin together. And I really pray na na-bless ka sa short video na to. And God bless you. Barry Feroz is here again of Christian Entrepreneurs Academy, signing off. God bless. Bye-bye.